Hi everybody, me again. So quick video today uh, on kicking unwanted users off your Wi-Fi, off your local area network. So we all pay a lot of money for our internet, so you do not want people on there using up your bandwidth uh, if you've not invited them. So I thought I'd do a quick video showing you uh, firstly how you can detect someone on your network who shouldn't be there, and then secondly how you can kick them off and kick them off permanently. So your router will have most likely a list of all the connected devices. I happen to have an Asus router. Here I am logged in and I can click and I can view a list. So time to time it's worth looking on here, it shows you all the clients, it shows you the IP addresses and MAC addresses um, and sometimes icons. So you'll look through here and most likely you'll know uh, if somebody on there shouldn't be there. Uh, if you don't want to use uh, your uh, router to do that, there are third party software that you can use. So this is one that I've used previously. There are lots more, uh, but this is one that works quite simply and works well for me. So this is Nearsoft. So you can get to them at uh, nearsoft.net. I'll put a link in the description. Once you get to the home page, you want to go down to network tools. Once you're on network tools, have a look down there and look for wireless network watcher and then open that. And then about three quarters of the way down uh, that page, you'll get to here, download wireless network watcher in a zip file. So just download that and then unzip it. So I've already done that. So here. So once you've unzipped it, you want to double click on netwatcher.exe. So if I just click on that. So that straight away will do a scan of your network. So you can see it's doing that now. So again, this is another place for you to look and to see if there are some devices here that you uh, don't recognize. So the good thing about this, uh, it's got a device name if that's already available, uh, but it also tells you uh, the network adapter of the company. So some of these are recognizable. So these Espressifs, for example, I know they are Sonoff devices, so I recognize those. Um, I've got some Raspberry Pi up there and things like that. Um, you can also double click on a device and that will open up a little bit more information. So it's telling you the IP address, the MAC address, the manufacturer. Um, so hopefully using either your router or uh, an app like this, you can identify uh, perhaps a, uh, a device that you don't recognize. So you want to get rid of it. So the way to do that uh, is through your router. So if you log back into your router, so I'll just go back uh, and look for a way of blocking the MAC address of that device. So I'm doing this on an Asus router. If you've got one, it's easy to follow along, uh, but you will have to just explore in your own router uh, where this feature is. Mine happens to be in wireless. Once in wireless, I've got one called wireless MAC filter. So I hit on that. Here I've got a couple of options. I can choose the filter I want to apply it to, whether it's 2.4 gig or 5 gig. If you want to do both, then you'd need to follow these instructions for both. So the first thing I'm going to do is enable uh, the Mac filter, and then you can decide what you want to do with the addresses that you list. So you can either only accept those that are listed, or you can reject those that are listed. So once you've selected the bandwidth that you want to use and whether you want to accept or reject, reject, you then need to add a device by its MAC address to that rejection list. So mine is my own phone is a OnePlus 3, so I thought I'd just use that, add that to the reject list, and then I just press apply. So you can see now that that's all set up. My OnePlus is in the reject list. So uh, probably the best thing to do, if I just try and connect to that now with my phone, you can see how that uh, how that rejects it. So let me just go ahead and open up my uh, open up my phone. So here we are. You can see at the top there it says Asus 5G. Uh, which is the SSD for my Wi-Fi has been disabled. So straight away, uh, I've lost connection. I've been booted off the next the network. If I just uh, remove now uh, back on the router, so you can see now uh, I've taken the rejection filter off and I'm connected back to the network.
So I hope that helps. That's a great way, I think, of just checking from time to time, see who's on your network. If they're not supposed to be on there, you don't want them hogging your bandwidth uh, at the very least. They're, they might be doing something a little bit more sinister. So you want to kick those off uh, straight away. And what you might even consider doing if you found someone on the network that shouldn't be there is not only kicking them off, is also think about um, changing your SSD password and then resetting all the devices that are on your network uh, so you know for sure that everyone's uh, been kicked off. Anyway, hope that helps. If it does, please consider subscribing and maybe even hitting that notification bell so we see each other in the next video. Take care, everyone.